Hi, my name is Whitney Lane. I am a fourth year resident in the plastic surgery uh, residency here at Duke University. I originally uh, did not match into plastic surgery. I originally was a general surgery resident here at Duke, and over the course of my first two years of clinical residency in general surgery, got increasingly interested in plastic and reconstructive surgery um, and made the transition into the uh, plastic surgery residency after my uh, fourth year of general surgery residency, so after my first two years of clinical and, first, and then two years of research. Once I made that transition into plastic surgery, um, I immediately realized how collegial the residency program was. Um, I was really delighted by the um, support that we provide to one another, um, and specifically I think the support from both the your co-residents and uh, faculty has been absolutely amazing. One of the biggest things that I um, found about the plastic surgery residency here at Duke is that we have fabulous mentorship both from the, your co-residents and from your faculty members. Um, what I noticed immediately is that um, senior residents are able to take junior residents through cases, have been great mentors in terms of career development and have been a really great resource, especially as I've progressed through the uh, plastic surgery residency in terms of um, thinking about fellowship and future career options. The faculty have also been absolutely amazing. I think that um, all of the faculty are very invested and interested in their area of um, practice, but are also uh, very supportive of all the residents choosing to go into a field that suits them the best. Um, I'm specifically interested in breast reconstruction and microsurgery and have had a lot of opportunities um, to also receive mentorship from around the country. At Duke, uh, we are pretty unique because we have the microsurgical flap course every summer where um, leaders in microsurgery from around the country and around the world come to Duke. Every year as residents, we work at the FLAP course, and so we get the opportunity to meet with and discuss career with, careers with these leaders, really, in the microsurgical field. Additionally, um, every year there's a oncologic microsurgical course, um, which is a course that's a collaboration between Duke and several other institutions, including Johns Hopkins, Harvard, Emory, Vanderbilt, Colorado, and now WashU. Um, it's a course that's really directed at residents and fellows and teaches residents how to um, dissect flaps and it's really a defect-based course. Uh, this is another course in which you get to meet plastic surgery residents from around the country in addition to plastic surgery faculty from around the country. Um, so I feel that going into fellowship applications and even job searches, I do have um, some mentors that are not only here at Duke but um, at institutions nationally um, that will help me going forward. Dr. Rizek and Dr. Clancy um, work out at Duke Raleigh, where I'm currently rotating, um, and they have really been fabulous uh, female mentors, um, especially uh, thinking about career options and uh, balancing family with career. Um, I think one of the things that is unique or amazing about the Duke residency is that um, from the top down, from Dr. Marcus down through all the faculty and residents, um, we're very, very supportive of women having children during residency, getting married during residency, um, and have, they have been incredibly supportive of some of my co-residents in terms of um, altering schedules and making it feasible to uh, juggle the having kids and also being a very active and successful plastic surgery resident. Another part of uh, this program that I love is that we are located in Durham, North Carolina. Um, I moved to Durham a long time ago. I started, I moved here when I was 18 years old and went to Duke and I've been here ever since. Um, so that's going on now 14 years. I have seen Durham and the surrounding area change dramatically throughout that time, um, and especially within the last six to seven years. We have a burgeoning restaurant industry um, and a lot of cultural opportunities such as concerts. Um, Deepak is located in Durham, which has the uh, Broadway South productions come through. Um, additionally, we're located right on Duke's campus, so you really have um, 
can take advantage of all that Duke has to offer as an inter you know, international university. Um, so I think that there are some great benefits to being in a small southern city that is located right on a college campus um, that you wouldn't necessarily get in um, larger cities or even in other smaller cities around the country. I think Ultimately, um, I didn't go through the same process that you all are going through matching into plastic surgery um, and was very lucky to uh, get a spot here within the plastic surgery division coming, you know, transitioning from general surgery into plastic surgery. Um, that being said, I couldn't say enough about how wonderful my experience has been in the plastic surgery residency. I think that um, from my colleagues to the faculty membership to the opportunities that were afforded here at Duke to um, the, you know, living in the Durham, North Carolina, or Triangle area, I think all of those things really um, come together to create a um, both challenging but also supportive uh, environment to develop as a young surgeon.